Hi, welcome to AmbleSmith.com. Today I'm going to talk to you about Berdan and Boxer Prime Brass, and I'm going to talk to you about two different die sets here. One's an RCBS and one's a Lee. Now the RCBS die is more prone to damage than the Lee die is, and I'm going to show you why. So let's go ahead and show you how to identify Boxer versus Berdan Brass. When you look at brass, sometimes it's hard to see it to the very bottom of it. So it's good to have a small light in order to illuminate it. Now we're going to look into the 45 ACP brass here and what you're going to see is one single hole in the bottom of the brass and that identifies it as boxer primed. Now in the 7.60 by 39 brass as we're looking into it we see two holes on either side of the, of the case and this cannot be deprimed with the standard die set. Now what will happen is if you don't identify it, especially with the RCBS, it will either bend or snap the pin. It can also bend the decapping stem. I'm going to show you why. On the RCBS full length sizing die or the next sizing die, the decapping pin is threaded into the die body itself. And so what you have is a threaded body, you have the expander ball, then you have the this threaded end here that keeps the decapping pin captive. And what will happen is if the Berdan case goes through here, it has nowhere to go, and this will either snap or bend right here, or it'll bend right here. This is the weakest point right up in here. And I've done this before several times. Now a lot of the brass is coming out of Eastern Europe, Poland, Lithuania, Estonia, or even Germany, will have Berdan brass. Mostly it's Europeans that make Berdan prime brass. Now, once you identify it, go ahead and set it to the side. Now I'm going to go show you the lead eye and show you the features it has and how it is protected from damage in case you put in a piece of Berdan Prime brass. Okay, here is a lead eye, and I want to show you how it differs from other die sets. If we look at it, we'll see it has a decapping pin just like any other conventional die, but it's how it's held in place that sets it apart. Back here, there's a collet. And what happens with this collet is it keeps friction tension on the decapping system itself. This whole thing here is one solid piece that goes throughout the die, and it is not susceptible to damage. What we have here is the lead decapping assembly next to the RCBS. The RCBS one is very nice but it is very prone to damage through Berdan Prime brass and the reason that is is it has nowhere to go. Here we'll see that the, sh the shaft here is smooth so when the collet the tension on it is variable so you can either torque it down to where it'll take more pressure to move it for such as crimped prime brass from military cases and it'll actually move out of the way. It'll slide up into the die like this. Now with the RCBS one, it has nowhere to go. It's threaded with a lock nut at the top and a set collar here. Now this has nowhere to go and it'll either bend down here at the weakest point or it'll snap the decapping pin itself. Okay, what I have here is a 7.60 by 39 die set and shell holder. And I have a piece of 7.60 by 39 Berdan Prime Brass. This is actually brass. It's not that steel case stuff that we see all the time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run it through the full length sizing die. I want to show you how this decapping stem will push up when it runs into a piece of Berdan Prime Brass. What I'm going to demonstrate to you is how this decapping assembly will move out of the way if it does run into Berdan Brass. 
I already have a case in there that's lubed and we're going to go ahead and go through the process. As we can see, this moved out of the way. And there was no damage to the decapping assembly at all. All you need to do is take a wrench here, like a crescent, and a 9 16 wrench here or half inch, and go ahead and loosen it and slightly tap it to where it's near even at the top here, then put tension back on it. Put a decent amount of tension on here, especially if you're using, let's say, the 223 dies and you're decapping crimped, primed military brass. You know, as boxer prime, the crimp can sometimes put a little bit of resistance on there more than you would uh, desire.